Russia's invasion of Ukraine has united NATO countries, including Poland, against this act of aggression. Poland, a staunch opponent of the invasion, has reacted strongly to Russia's Belarusian-backed moves. Given Poland's strategic location and support from the United States, it has become a pivotal player in the Second Cold War, aligning itself with Ukraine against Russia as a key member of the NATO alliance and a strong ally of the United States. In the early stages of the conflict, Poland served as a temporary headquarters for coordinating the flow of military aid to Ukraine. While this operation has since been shifted to Germany, Poland remains a crucial point for the transportation of military equipment to Ukraine. Recognizing the need to bolster its military capabilities, Poland is actively increasing the size of its army to 300,000 troops and acquiring over 1,500 powerful tanks, as well as the HIMARS and Patriot systems. Furthermore, Poland has warehouses storing nearly 3,000 NATO military vehicles, including tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, artillery, technical security vehicles, and self-propelled bridges. To enhance its security measures, Poland has taken significant steps, including closing its borders with Russia's Kaliningrad territory and Belarus. Polish Interior Minister Maruz Kaminski announced the construction of a state-of-the-art electronic barrier along Russia's land border with Kaliningrad equipped with advanced surveillance technology to monitor and counter any illegal activities. This electronic barrier, spanning 210 kilometers, is scheduled for completion in the fall. Additionally, Poland has decided to close its borders to Russian and Belarusian trucks since June 1, a move that surprised Russian leader Vladimir Putin and Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko. The closure of the border is a response to the arrest of Andrzej Poczobut, an activist of the Polish minority in Belarus and co-chairman of the Union of Poles in Belarus. Polish Minister of Internal Affairs and Administration Marius Kominski signed a decree suspending freight traffic of Russian and Belarusian vehicles across the Belarusian border, further escalating tensions. In parallel, Poland has been imposing sanctions on several hundred Belarusian officials responsible for political repression against Poles living in Belarus. Recognizing the need to safeguard its borders, Poland has received MQ-9A Reaper military drones from the USA for border monitoring, specifically focusing on the eastern border shared with Belarus and Ukraine. These drones will aid the Polish Air Force in conducting reconnaissance operations. Poland plans to use leased drones until it acquires its own fleet. As a result of the border closure at Bobrovica checkpoint, the Belarusian regime imposed restrictions on Polish carriers, leading Lithuania to reciprocate by closing the Stasilos Bynyakoni railway crossing on the border with Belarus. These measures demonstrate the geopolitical impact of the ongoing tensions between Warsaw, Minsk, and Moscow. To counter the threat posed by Russia, Poland has increased its defense budget to 4% of GDP, twice the amount recommended by NATO. Additionally, frozen assets of Russian oligarchs, exceeding 1 billion euros, are being targeted, and a bill proposing sanctions against Belarusian officials has been presented to the Polish parliament. These actions highlight Poland's commitment to preventing and resisting further Russian aggression. In parallel, Poland is also focusing on strengthening its military capabilities by launching initiatives such as Train with the Army, a program offering private military training to citizens aged 15 to 65.
The program aims to equip participants with basic military skills and encourage volunteerism in the nation's armed forces. Moreover, the Polish government has introduced a 16-day basic military training course for interested individuals to increase the reserve troops in the Polish army. Poland has recently made significant military acquisitions, placing orders worth over $10 billion with South Korea. These deals include 200K-9 Thunder Howitzers, 48 FA-50 light attack aircraft, 180K-2 Black Panther tanks, and 218K-239 Chima rocket launchers. These acquisitions highlight the importance of Poland's alliance with Ukraine against the Russian occupation, as well as against the governments in Minsk and Moscow. Poland's commitment to strengthening its military capabilities is evident, with plans to expand its army to three times the size of the United Kingdom. The Polish government aims to double the size of its armed forces within two years, positioning itself as one of the most powerful military forces in Europe. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Poland has taken decisive action. The country has allocated billions of pounds to purchase around 1,500 tanks, the majority of which will come from South Korea. Additionally, Poland plans to acquire 1,000 K-2 tanks and 250 new M1A2 Abrams tanks from the United States, along with 116 older M1A1 Abrams tanks. These acquisitions will not only bolster Poland's military capabilities, but also provide temporary replacements for tanks sent to support Ukraine. Furthermore, Polish Defense Minister Maruz Blaszczak has announced plans to double the size of the country's army from 150,000 to 300,000 troops. This expansion reflects Poland's determination to stand against any joint steps taken by Russia and Belarus in their invasion of Ukraine. With robust support from the United States and its own military strength, Poland stands as a formidable force. This united front ensures that Ukraine is not alone in its struggle against the aggression of Russia and Belarus.